Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel where I will share my 3D printing journey with you. If you enjoy what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all my future videos. In today's video, I will show you a quick tutorial on how to connect stepper motors and display to MK DLC32. And just you know, this video is not a sponsor. Let's get started. I bought the hardware uh, from AliExpress, and they uh, they came um, very fast, relatively maybe in 10, 12 days. I purchased for N stops and, and three uh, a separate motor driver. The server motors are 84980A. Uh, they are the uh, simplest one. I know uh, they have some noises and uh, I will repla replace them with a uh, TMC version. And USB cable and the display with the, uh, the cables. Display we have with the camera to connect it to the uh, board and the uh, actual board MKS the uh, DLC N32 uh, version and uh, 2.1. First of all, we need to uh, connect. Uh, display and uh, and uh, uh, board uh, we have here exp1 exp2 but i couldn't find anything on the board or back of the board to, uh, to say which one is which uh, if they write is something is under the pins but in their uh, manual uh, file and uh, they added here the top one it is exp1 and down one is exp2 it means we need to connect this port to this one and second one is the same Then uh, next step we need to add uh, a separate motor driver here. It uh, came with the heat sink. We need to attach it on the driver because it's getting hot, hot uh, when we are using. But uh, in meantime, uh, we are not using that one in testing. I'm not going to uh, attach the heat sink on the uh, driver right now. Then for uh, connecting the um, SFM motor driver. We need to make sure we are putting that in the right direction because uh, it can go uh, in two ways this way or uh, this way but if we uh, 
put it in the wrong way, we can see the magic smoke. Let's see. In the uh, manual one, it says uh, th this is the diagram uh, they added in their um, manual. It says uh, enable should be up there and uh, ground down there. As you can see here, enable we have here en mm -hmm. it's enable and ground here it means we need to attach it to the board in in this direction uh, but uh, before uh, putting uh, the driver you need to make sure the settings for the uh, driver and uh, deep switch are correct uh, we are using a 4988 so uh, also I'm going to use the uh, 116 16th of the step it means all of them uh, has to be high that in the deep switch the deep switch they has to be a uh, high and when they are uh, here they are high and when they are down here they are low so we need to have them all of them high and they are already high uh, you can put this one here enable i need another one enable and go Next step, we need to uh, connect the uh, stepper motors. Right now, for uh, our test, I have two stepper motors. I'm going to uh, stick something here, a piece of tape that we can see the direction of the uh, uh, motor starter uh, if you uh, if you see uh, my other video I mentioned how we can uh, figure out which uh, pin which uh, pin is going where and what color we need to have it here for example uh, for my uh, my wires and my settings and this um, uh, model of the uh, board i have a red green blue black red uh, green blue and black in which they are going to different uh, a stepper a mode and in other side uh, right now it doesn't matter which which one is goes uh, where and the direction is different maybe we need to uh, correct it by reversing the uh, port and right now I'm going to use uh, this adapter uh, it's tw uh, 12 volt and 3 amps uh, output. I'm going to use uh, this adapter and test it.
Python framework it has. It is related to the CNC and later on we can uh, change it to something else. Uh, now for uh, testing the motors to see uh, they are working or not just we can go to the control and uh, move it by X or Y. And uh, let me to increase the length it need to go. If you see, and this is the Y axis. At least we know the uh, the connection between the board and the motor is correct, and we uh, we are not going to see the magic smoke for this uh, port. Let's test the other one. Yes. And also the X1 working. If you see uh, right now uh, is uh, turning uh, anti ink likewise right now. But if we let me to disconnect it. But if we revert the pins here, we are going to change the direction. Right now it is uh, likewise. In uh, future videos, I'm going to show you uh, how we can upgrade the framework for uh, this board and use it in my next project, which is going to be a laser eng engraver. That's it for today's video. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting 3D printing or laser engraving content. As always, stay safe and happy printing.